Consider the system of linear equations above. Which of the following choices of A will result in a system of equations with no solutions? No solutions. So a system has no solutions is if both lines, and these are both linear equations, they actually tell us these are, these are linear equations, is, is if you have two lines that are parallel, then you have no solutions. They were, they're never going to intersect. There's no xy pair that satisfies both of them. So if they are parallel, if they are parallel, then you're going to have no solutions. So what makes two lines parallel? Well, if they have the same slope, but they have different y-intercepts, they have different y-intercepts, you're going to be parallel. So essentially, we need to pick the A here that makes the second line parallel to the first. And to do that, I'm actually write both of them in kind of the, the slope-intercept form, where y is equal to the slope times x plus the intercept. So let's do that. Let's do for that for both of these. So first I'll do this one up here. So you have 9x minus 14y is equal to negative 3. See, if I subtract 9x from both sides, I would get negative 14y is equal to negative 9x minus 3. See, if I divide both sides by negative 14, I'm going to get y is equal to negative 9 divided by negative 14 is positive 9 over 14 x and then plus 3 over 14. So that's this line written in slope intercept form. Now let me write the second line in slope intercept form. So I get I have 2x minus ay is equal to negative 6. And let's see if I subtract 2 from both sides, I get negative ay is equal to negative 2x. I'm subtracting 2x from both sides, so I get minus 2x minus 6, and then I can divide both sides by negative a, and I get y is equal to negative 2 divided by negative a is positive 2 over a x, and then plus 6 over 6 over a. All right, so we need to set up a situation. We need to set up a situation where 2 over a is equal to 9 over 14. These two things have to have the same slope. And then when we're able to figure out that a, we have to verify that they have different y-intercepts. Because if they had the same slope and the same y-intercept, instead of having no solutions, they would have an infinite number of solutions because then it would be the same line. But let's solve for a. So we know that 9 over 14, we know that 9 over 14 needs to be equal to 2 over a, 2 over a. Or another way of thinking about this, we could take, there's, there's a bunch of, you know, sometimes people say cross multiplying and all of that. I like to just do a, a bit, you know, logical algebraic operations. But we can take the reciprocal of both sides. So we could have, and actually let me swap both sides. So we could say a over 2 is equal to 14 over 9, is equal to 14 over 9, and then multiply both sides by 2. Multiply both sides by 2. And you're going to get a is equal to 28 over 9. a is going to be this right over here. This is 28 over 9. So if I'm under time pressure, I already see a choice that's looking pretty good. But if we really want to care that, OK, we've, if a is 28 over 9, these two things are going to have the same slope. But let's make sure they don't have the same y-intercept. And I wouldn't do this if I was under time pressure. But just for to feel good about it, if this y-intercept is 6 over a, so it's going to be 6 over 28 over 9, which is 6 divided by a fraction is the same thing. So dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So it's going to be the same thing as 6 times 9 over 28. And this is going to be equal to 6 times 9 is 54 over 28 which is clearly different than 3 over 14. So we, if a is 28 over 9, same slope, different y-intercepts, and you're dealing with parallel lines. They will not intersect, and you're going to have no solutions.